everybody and welcome to day 400 of Reese's Stories and thank you to all my new subscribers, followers and yes, so thanks to you for the likes as well um, and so yes, I'm going to be reading you Fantastic Mr. Fox today written by Roald Dad and illustrated by Quinton Blake and I'm going to be reading you one chapter, short chapter called the terrible shovels. Down in the hole, Mrs. Fox was tenderly licking the stump of Mr. Fox's tail to stop the bleeding. It was the finest tail for miles around, she said between licks. It hurts, said Mr. Fox. I know it does, sweetheart, but it'll, it'll soon get better and it will soon grow again. Dad, said one of the small foxes, it will never grow again, said Mr. Fox. I shall be tailless for the rest of my life. He looked very glum. There was no food for the foxes that night, and soon the children dozed off. Then Mrs. Fox dozed off, but Mr. Fox couldn't sleep because of the pain in the stump of his tail. Well, he thought, I suppose I'm lucky to be alive at all, and now... They found our home. We're going to have to move out as soon as possible. We'll never get any peace if we... What was that? He turned his head sharply and listened. The noise he heard now was the most frightening noise a fox can ever hear. The scrape, scrape, scra scraping of shovels digging into the soil. Wake up, he shouted. They're digging at us out. Mrs. Fox was wide awake. In one second, she sat up, quivering all over. Are you sure that's it? That's it. Then, she whispered, I'm positive. Listen, they'll kill my children, cried Mrs. Fox. Never, said Mr. Fox. But darling, they will stop, Mrs. Fox. You know they will. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch went the shovels above their heads. Small stones and bits of earth began falling from the roof of the tunnel. How will they kill us? Mummy asked one of the small foxes. His round black eyes were huge with fright. Will there be dogs, he said. Mrs. Fox began to cry. She gathered her four children close to her and held them tight. Suddenly, there was an especially loud crunch above their heads and the sharp end of a shovel came right through the ceiling. The sight of this awful thing seemed to have an electric effect upon Mr. Fox. He jumped up and shouted, I've got it. Come on, there's not a moment to lose. Why didn't I think of it before? Think of what, Dad? A fox can dig quicker than a man, shouted Mr. Fox, beginning to dig. Nobody in the world can dig as quick as a fox. The soil began to fly out furiously behind Mr. Fox as he started to dig for dear life with his front feet. Mrs. Fox ran f forward to help him. So did the four children. Go downwards, ordered Mr. Fox. We've got to go deep, as deep as we possibly can. The tunnel began to grow longer and longer. It sloped steeply downward, deeper and deeper below the surface of the ground it went. The mother and the father and all four of the children were digging together. Their front legs were moving so fast you couldn't see them. And gradually the scrunching and scraping of the shovels became fainter and fainter. After about an hour, Mr. Fox stopped digging. Hold it, he said. They'll, they'll, they all stopped. They turned and looked back up the long tunnel. They had just stuck. All was quite few, said Mr. Fox. I think we've done it. They'll never get as deep as this. Well done, everyone. They all sat down, panting for breath. <laughs> And Mrs. Fox said to her children, I should like you to know that if it wasn't for your father, we should 
We should all be dead by now. Your father is a fantastic fox. Mr. Fox looked at his wife and she smiled. He loved her more than ever when she said things like that. The end. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful chapter uh, called The Terrible Troubles. And the next chapter is related to it, kind of, because it's called The Terrible Tractors. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed that wonderful story. And we all know how Mr. Fox is a fantastic Mr. Fox because he dug all the way deeper and deeper with his wife and four children. And they got so deep that, the, that they wouldn't have been able to, to dig deeper um, who tried to shoot the foxes. <laughs> Uh, so yes, so we all know how you call fantastic Mr. Fox now. And so yes, thank you children for listening to this channel. And I hope you're enjoying the story Fantastic Mr. Fox and I'm a fox as you can all see. So enjoy the rest of your day everybody and I guess I will see you all tomorrow for day three. I mean, 401 of Reese's stories. So, bye everybody. Good luck.